Just going to do a little preparation first before I start making my petals. I'm just going to take some tin foil. I'm going to just start to scrunch and then I'll pop it onto here and then make this really nice and flat. The reason why I scrunch all of this is because now it's got a lot more strength. Um, I'm going to then place this then down onto this side of the veiner and then place the other one on top and then making a sandwich. Now, the reason why I make these is because I want to be making three petals at the same time, 24 gauge wire for the very large petals. Always use like a sharp pair of scissors, kitchen scissors, and just cut them like that so that it's a point on the end and that's gonna be easier to then push down into the paste. So you want three of these for three large ones and then for the smaller petals, a 26 gauge wire, cut it exactly the same, but this one is a little bit shorter. Make sure you put a lot of corn flour, take the excess off. I want there to be this extra paste that's going to then go down into this beautiful central vein on the back. So that's where I know that I need to put my grease. The warmer the paste is, the better the results are going to be. I keep on rolling it and then pulling it down into a sausage and then down like that. It's starting to get really, really nice and lovely and soft. So rolling this into a thick kind of carrot, so it's starting to work away. I would advise you make the first three small petals first and then go on to making the larger petals afterwards. So then I'm going to take my pre-cut 24 gauge wire, there's the glue, and then just travel that down a quarter of the way and then twisting the wire all the time so it's like a corkscrew going down. And a little bit of corn flour, not too much, and working with my extra large ball tool. See how nicely the ball tool goes around now because I did that with my fingers. And then going to turn the whole petal over, placing your hand underneath, then placing this on top with the makeup sponge. Just start to push down the center part, making sure that the wire is centralized. But all this time I'm putting lots and lots and lots of pressure and then gently lift this up and then take Take this off. Okay. You want to be putting your finger flat onto your scissors and then just snipping and then lifting these up. I always tend to do this on the veiner because then I'm not disturbing the detail at the back. So that's what we're kind of looking for. 